Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with red, officially weighing in at 154 one half pounds. He has 33 professional fights, 32 victories, including 28 big wins by knockout with only one defeat. From Austin, Texas, USA, the former WBC Continental America's super welterweight champion, James Mandingo Warrior Kirkland. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with green, official weight, also 154, one half pounds. As a professional, 44 professional victories, including 31 wins by knockout, only one defeat with one draw. De Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the former super welterweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. I called it with Max Kellerman and Roy Jones. Okay, those trunks are good there. Those trunks are good there. And the big fight last week put you to sleep. This might knock you out. The unknown trainer in James Kirkland's corner tonight is San Antonio of Kirkland's quality. And Canelo Alvarez has been trained his entire career by the father-son team in his attacker or a counterpuncher. Well, he's a counterpuncher, and tonight he'll have to be a counterpuncher because he's fighting a guy who's going to be all over. And right now. Yeah. As Kirkland fires away, and Canelo keeps his guard up in the corner. Canelo, Canelo Kirkland firing away, lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. Well, that's from right. too offensive hey, early, hey, and against hey, Angulo hey, was hey, dropped hey, with the right hey, hand. And when he gets knocked Wait down, sometimes it's because he wears his feet up and forgets to stay in a responsible boxing stance. Canelo with that good left hook. Oh, he got hurt bad hook. again with it. Canelo, Canelo's right uppercut. Kirkland open to the right hand. Both fighters have been hurt in round one. Hard right hand by Canelo. I've never Alvarez seen... has a chance to well, Canelo the taking his time and landing the big shot. No Hard right hit. hand. Down goes first, first round. Five. Possible opportunity Six. for a first round. Seven. Getting knocked down in round one. Kirkland has tasted the canvas here. They should have stayed him, and he can't box with him. Close range was his best option because Canelo is throwing wicked body shots, wicked uppercuts. And Canelo has gotten comfortable. Right hand. Not he from is that painting Kirkland with those shots. Not from that distance there, right in the wrong distance to win the fight. Hard left hook by Alvarez. Guys, the reason we know Kirk the other time he didn't have her, he was knocked out in the first round, and he's in jeopardy here. Big in the left first hook. Round. Another right hand. He's piecing this together brilliantly ever since the early assault from Kirkland that locked him in the corner. Huge right hand. Canelo working, working. John Sorley looking. And Kirkland's gonna make it. In the first he see Canelo down, left by the shot, followed by a straight right hand, right down the pipe. That hurt, and that sent Kirkland to the canvas. Here you see a straight right lead, blocked by the shot, straight right down the pipe. That right hand will put you down every time. Acting very positively in what they saw in round one. 68 in round one, 36 of them were power connects, 10 to the body, just like that. Left hook to the body. Kirkland into the ropes. Alvarez landing everything. Straight right, straight right, straight right. How is he still here? I don't know. Incredible conditioning and is the only answer. Alvarez. He's hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink, and Kirkland's still standing up. He is Amazing. throwing punches. He can survive that assault. He is throwing punches, and he's showing great resolve, but the punches don't yet have the snap that they do. To attack the body as well as the head. He's not just attacking him to the head like most people make the mistake and do what your boy Triple G talks about when he says Mexican style. This is and Canelo getting a little bit of a breather here. What for his head movement by Canelo Alvarez. Now he fires back to the body. Good left hand shot to the body. Hurt in the game. Straight right hand. Here comes Kirkland. Is he taking those body shots, Jim? I do not know. You wonder if Canelo Alvarez is punched out. That was the right uppercut. Team Kirkland hoped to avoid. They're getting hit with everything. But that uppercut hit. And he is tight. Keep your like fucking this. hands up. Get your feet together. Keep that front foot in front of you. 
Don't square up, baby, okay? Uppercut. What keeps Kirkland up on his feet, I do not know. You couldn't ask for a hook right on the button. Left hooks don't get landed any cleaner than this. I mean, wow. They're almost getting knocked out in the first round. Only landed 16 of them, but landed some very... Dave McClinton said that the only athlete he's ever worked with, and he's worked with a lot of NBA Great running NBA. back quality. When the play is over, his legs are still churning. Here's what wheel. If this fight went 12 rounds, oh no way, no way. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> we got a boxing match last week. That's a different thing than a fight. Oh, oh, and will and guts, and he has them all in abundance. So skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Perfect shots by Canelo Alvarez. You can't keep giving Canelo them big shots, though, Jim. Oh. What a savage beat. This is target practice for Canelo Alvarez. Yes, it is. And coming back. And tell him to cut there he is. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down. Second knockdown of the three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, baby. Eight. Show me something. Kirkland at great slip. John Shirley no. He's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand. And short of performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered in Canelo Alvarez's career. Talk about closing the show. 20 out of 28 punches in the second round. All of them, and that uppercut was a night. Yeah, Jim, the uppercut was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. right, even more unbelievable. But the guy, made, he, he made it. Been through an, an unbelievable fight. That was that uppercut, Jim, right up under the left jab. Yeah. Stuck it out like a jab, and then he counted it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to work on. To the body right with a jab, it comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down and he'd keep working the body shots. If you watch his attack, Canelo always got just there. He aims low and then fires upstairs. That's, a perfect feint. That's what I call look down but come up. <laughs> Wilfred Benitez's knockout of Maurice Hope was almost the exact same punch, just without the jab. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the tradition of Slugger versus Slugger. The end comes three. The winner by knockout victory, Guadalajara Jalisco, Mexico, Canelo. Fight. That was the uppercut jab right up under the left jab. Yeah. Stuck it out like a jab, and then he counted it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to work now on. To the body right with a jab, it comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down, and he keep working the body shots. If you watch his attack, Canelo always got just there. He aims low and then fires upstairs. That's a perfect feint. That's what I call look down, but come up. <laughs> Wilfred Benitez's knockout of Murray's Hope was almost the exact same punch, just without the jab. Perez, let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Houston. In the third round, en route to the knockout, every one of them was a power shot. All in all, he lands...